What's up guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Ibrahim Adjao here from Copenhagen and I'm here to give you the seven best advice that will change your table tennis career forever. If you live by the seven advice that I will give you, I guarantee success. It's actually my moving day. As you can see here, I have boxes here. I'm actually moving to La Romagne. And before to hit the road, let me give you the advice number one. Prepare your practice. So many players, young players and semi-pro players, they come to practice and they are not ready to practice. Uh, they come with empty stomach or they don't have their bottles or uh, they, they, they come and they don't know where, what to practice. If there is a lot of period of time before uh, a match, then they can practice their weakest point or if the match is, is uh, in, a, in a week or so, so they can practice their strongest point. What I mean is that most of the players, they are not prepared to practice and you have to prepare for a match. When you go for a match, you actually have your racket uh, ready, you have your bottle, you have your, your towers, everything. And then no, normally you should know uh, your opponents and uh, where, you, where you should play, etc. It's not especially in the day, it's also the day before. Have to be ready mentally for your, pra for your practice. That's, that, that's, that's the advice number one. Just get ready for, for the practice. Are we clear on that? All right. So let me pack the car, hit the road, and I will give you the advice number two. We are good? Yeah. Practice on different distances. Most of the players, they actually practice uh, footworks and they stay on the same distance and they make 2-2 two -two or backhand middle, backhand forehand, uh, this, and they stay on the same distance. And, and the best advice that I can give you is that you have to change your distance. So sometimes be, be close to the table and then sometimes uh, play far from the table. And I will give you three reasons why. The first reason is that when you play a match, you are not that close. You think you are, but you are not, you are not close from the table. So the second reason is that you have to be comfortable playing in, uh, in uh, all the distances. So if you are playing top spin, top spin, then you have to be comfortable there. And then also if you have to stay close from the table, then you also have to be close. But try to change all the time. And then the third reason is that you become more difficult to play. So if there is a player that is faster than you, then it's good that you take some distances. Then you have a little bit more time to play. And if you are faster than a the player, then you stay close to, to, to the table and then you try to crush him. Uh, practice your distances. All the time practice your distances. And I call this the in and out footwork. So if you make a 2-2, two -two, just, just simple. One close, one out, or two close, two out. So yes, try to practice that. Alright guys, uh, we are in uh, Germany and uh, we have uh, maybe two and a half hours before uh, we arrive to uh, Duisburg. Yes, I take this break to give you uh, my third advice. You have to change uh, rhythm when you play a footwork. Uh, now in table tennis there is uh, less spin now with the new plastic ball and it's very important to change the rhythm of your, um, of your game uh, and sometimes to play a uh, low ball and sometimes to play a very high ball. Uh, one of the best in the world is uh, Timo Ball and he's very good, very good at doing this. So it's very important to change uh, the rhythm. So of course you have to change uh, the line when you play, sometimes high and some, uh, sometimes close to the table and sometimes not. But you also have to change also the height of the, of the ball. So this is something that's very important. It's the best variation you can have now is to change the height of the, of the ball. So uh, try to do this when you play a footwork. Don't play all the time in the same rhythm. Try to sometimes play some a very high ball and sometimes some uh, some ball with, without spin. And then you will you will see the difference. It, it, it will be harder for uh, it will be harder for the opponents to, to play against you. Alright guys, it's 1.50 a.m. 
and we are finally in Duisburg after a long drive. And just for that effort, I just I want you to hit the subscribe button for me. Uh, that would be very nice. You have to add service on most of your exercises, even on footwork. I practice with uh, Timo Boll, Dima of Charov, and all the best players. They make like two two or backhand middle, backhand forehand for one or two minutes, and then after the rest of the exercise, they add service. So you need to add service. Table tennis start with serve. So so imagine that most of the players they actually practice without starting with serve for half of the practice and doesn't make doesn't make sense so you need to add service you need to be used to to add service and then serve like is a match so proper service and also let's say that if you make a, a footwork exercise you need also to make any different kind of service because depending on the spin that you do in one service then this, the spin change there is a di different kind of spin so if you make a reverse service or if you make a backhand service is different than if you make a, um, a, no, a forehand service for example so it's very important that to change to change that but add service you can start simple and then after that mix mix the spin but table tennis start with self so you need to add, add service simple and clear now i'm dead morning Falling on me, I got weapons, Nino on me. Is that like Tetris? You don't know me. Is that my fatty? You don't know me. Okay, hey now, nah. it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me. So we already paid for the for the road. Anyway, it's the best time to give you the tip number five. Tip number five is to make multiple. Multiple is the best way to improve uh, technically. That's that's the fastest way. If you don't feel comfortable, or uh, if you if you have dub technically, is the best way to make multiple. And I would say multiple you have to make maybe four times a week. The best time to make multiple is in the afternoon. But you have to be smart making multiple. Just don't play all the time cross or uh, the coach is um, on the side of, of the table and then give you some multiple and you don't think about it. Think think about what's not working and situation in match and you try to reproduce them. And you reproduce them until that you have them and then you have confidence in them and until that is become instinctive. So so yes, that's, that's the best way to improve uh, technically and also to create uh, to, to create also some combination. So make multiple. All right guys, we arrived in Cholet after a long drive. As you can see here, you can see all the bags. So it was really a long drive, but actually we are very surprised on how FIFA behaved during the the drive because actually she was really really calm so that was very surprising for us so before to unpack my stuff uh, i would like to um to tell you the advice number six to know where, when to practice your strength and your weaknesses there's many players that are actually practicing their weaknesses at the wrong time so the best best time to practice your weaknesses is maybe four weeks before a tournament, let's say, or, or before an important match, you have to practice your weaknesses, try to improve. As I said earlier, try to make some multiple or try many variation and this, just try to be creative at that time. And before a tournament, so maybe, or important match, maybe like two weeks before a tournament, then you, this is when you should practice your strength. I think that not enough players are practicing, practicing their strength. This is very, very important. This is where you win your matches this is when you when you point so it's very important to to do, to do that you have to also bring confidence for a tournament i would say try that try to practice your weakness four weeks before a tournament and then two weeks before a tournament try to practice your, your strength and let's see how you feel about that all right guys uh, we are finally settled in the, in the apartment so uh, i really look forward for uh, for my first practice uh, tomorrow with my new teammate and this Julian Pro A. But before to end this uh, vlog, I will um, give you my last advice.
practice the boring stuff and to be consistent practicing the boring, boring stuff that separate the good players and the great players. This is very, very important. The great players, they practice services. They, they straight. They eat salad. They work on statistics. Uh, they, they, they are practicing all the things, the boring stuff, the things that people said, ah, oh, it doesn't matter, I will make it tomorrow. And this, no, no, no. The best players practice the boring stuff. This is very, very important. That, that, this is what will take you to the next levels. I'm not saying that from one day to another you should drop everything and then start making a service for one hour or, or, or like this. Is, this this will not help. But what I mean is that you can actually improve 1% of everything each day. So so just start slow. Just start slow. So this is the very, very, like the most boring advice, but one of the most important advice. Enjoy practicing the boring stuff. So yeah. I hope that makes sense and I hope that this will help you. I hope that the seven advice helps you and is something that, uh, that you can feel and then the, that is something that, uh, that talks to you. It's the end of this vlog, so uh, thank you very much guys for watching and uh, if you like this video and uh, the contents, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys and see you soon.